What's up guys, thanks for stopping by, I hope you're doing good. In today's video, we're going to be explaining how you get refined ether. We briefly covered this in a previous video, but this time we're going to go into great detail. I hope you enjoy this video, if you do, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for future content. Let's jump into it. Alright, so this is the stuff we're looking for, this refined ether. I saw in a video with one of the developers that they said you can also call this ether because I guess the two things mean the exact same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and call it that. But in order to get this stuff, you're going to want to build yourself a refinery. To get a refinery, you're going to need 20 black marble, 5 black metal, 10 Yggdrasil wood, 5 black cores, and 3 sap. To get the black marble, you need to use a black metal pickaxe on this petrified bone that you find throughout the world. It's basically just the remains of a giant. To get Yggdrasil wood, you're going to have to chop down one of these Yggdrasil shoot trees. And this actually requires a black metal axe. Black cores can be found inside infested mines, often behind the hidden doors. But you can also sometimes find them just around the dungeon in general. There are actually two types of infested mine entrances. One is found inside the basement of these abandoned Diverga structures that start out infested with seekers. And you can find the entrance in the basement. The other entrance to the infested mines is in the side of these cliffs with this giant stairwell going all the way up. Last but not least, to get the sap, you need to build a sap extractor and place it on top of these big roots of Yggdrasil sticking out of the ground. They look just like the big tree in the sky for reference. But here's where we get onto an important detail. I'll show you how to craft these in just a second, but it's really important to point out that over time, these roots will actually be drained. And the less sap remains inside them, the longer it will take to produce sap. Normally you get sap pretty quickly, but I did fast forward time a lot to test this and it got to the point where it was only doing like one sap a day. I haven't managed to confirm whether sap production can stop altogether, but it's possible that that's the case. But it certainly can get very slow. So you're definitely going to want to place sap extractors on as many roots as Yggdrasil as you can all over your world if you want to make a lot of sap. To make a sap extractor, you're going to need a Diverga extractor and they spawn in crates inside the Diverga settlements. And there's tons of different spawn points, so I'm going to show you all of them. So at these taller guard towers, you can find the Diverga extractor on the second floor. This is what the crate looks like. And you're going to need to destroy it to get the extractor out. Destroying these crates will aggro all nearby NPCs, so you will have to clear the tower of NPCs in order to get the loot. At the smaller guard posts, the crates spawn on the roof. And at the guard towers with a basement, the crate spawns in the basement. At the excavation site, the crate spawns at the back next to the ward. And if the crate isn't at the back of the excavation site, then it's going to be in the back of this cart. So once you've built your refinery and you've got all your sap, you place it in the bottom here. But there's actually another ingredient that you need to put in the top. And that ingredient is soft tissue. The best source of soft tissue you get by mining the skulls of the petrified bone giants on the ground. It only spawns inside the head because soft tissue is actually the brain tissue of these giants. So this is the best source of soft tissue. However, you can also get quite a lot of soft tissue by breaking open the crates at Diverga structures. So as you're grinding these to get your extractors, you might as well go for these as well. Sometimes Tvergas will also drop soft tissue when they die as well. So once you've got all your soft tissue and all your sap, you put your soft tissue in the top and the sap in the bottom, and you wait for your refined ETR to be processed. For every one soft tissue and one sap, you get one refined ether. And boom, when it's done, it drops out the bottom right there. All right, guys, that's just about going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video or you found it useful, don't forget to leave a like and a nice positive comment for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for future content. I do stream live on this very YouTube channel and also live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash nickrawcliffe. So I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in that. If you want to support the content and help keep the dream alive, then you can do so on Patreon at patreon.com slash nickrawcliffe. So I'll leave a link in the description to that as well. You can follow me on social media and join my Discord at the links below. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, have a good one.